Good morning, fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now and this week's vlog in my bikini prep series. I tell you what, I am feeling really good. Since I started doing intermittent fasting, I just, I feel like that just schedule of eating works better for me because when I was doing it before where I was basically waking up at 6 or 6.30 and then eating every three hours until nine, they were small meals. And it, at first I felt full like it was enough, but then it got to be, I guess my body got used to it to where I felt like they weren't satisfying, they weren't filling. And I felt like I was constantly hungry. But with the intermittent fasting, I feel like a majority of that fasting time being asleep I wake up and there's only a couple hours and I said I was doing 12 12 I do extend it a little bit more sometimes like that hunger is just mostly there in the morning and I know after that as I eat so that I get all my calories in I'm gonna have bigger meals and I just feel more satisfied with them and I'm getting new low weigh-ins in the morning, so I know it's working. Which is nice and I'm just sleeping really well like I went to bed around 10 30 last night I woke up all on my own at like 5 50 this morning and I tried to go back to sleep but I just couldn't I fell awake and ready to go so I did some glute activation work and then I said you know what I'm just gonna go for a walk it's a nice morning the Sun is shining so that's what I'm doing I'm not quite sure how this vlog is gonna turn out what the what the main goal is gonna be. I'm still kind of thinking of it. It might just be a little week in the life of me, but I am gonna leave you there. I gotta go home, get the girls up, ready for school. It's the last week of school, and it's our last week here for a little bit. We are gonna be traveling to Salt Lake City to visit my family and then Jared's parents are out there too. So we're gonna spend two weeks out there and we're leaving this Sunday, way early. It's actually Father's Day. So we won't be here with Jared, but I'll get to spend Father's Day with my dad for the first time in a long time. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna finish up this walk and I will see you in the next clip. Come on, come brush your teeth. Here you go. If you don't do it, I will. Okay, hand it to me. Do it good. Good morning, everyone. So it is now Tuesday. We got up early and took Jared to the airport. He is going to Vegas on a business trip. Today, I'm gonna to take you with me to the gym. We're gonna do a chest and triceps workout. And then I have a couple errands to run. I'm going to our county tax office to, give, to get a print up of our estimated taxes. And I'll tell you why on the way there. But I need to get this little stinker to brush her teeth. And then we're gonna to head to the gym. Now we gotta clean your toothbrush. That's nasty, it's on the floor and on your foot. We don't do that. That's yucky. Mommy has to totally sanitize it. I have to go put it in the microwave now. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay, well next time ask for tissue. That's yucky. Yes, let me get you a tissue. No, we don't eat boogers. Yeah. Let me get you a tissue. Hold on. 
Brinley doesn't eat boogers either, right? We need that key. Yeah. We don't want anybody to eat boogers. Yeah. Did we get it? Yeah. Right okay. here. Right there? Yeah. Right here. Yeah, we can't walk around with boogers on us, huh? Yeah. Okay, ready? All right, everyone. So welcome to this chest and triceps workout. And please excuse my froggy voice. I actually am having a little bit of a cold right now. But we started this chest workout with these dumbbell decline neutral grip presses. And to tell you the truth, doing decline, I probably wouldn't do dumbbells if you don't have a partner to hand you the dumbbells. It's just better to do barbell. But I was trying something different, and I happened to be lucky to have a partner. So just keep that in mind. And here we went on to bench press. Now, I watched a video by Brian Teets. I follow him on YouTube. You should too. He's very informative about getting set up properly and having a little bit of an arch and how to do that safely when I was bench pressing. So I was that was the first time today that I tried setting up how he said. You should check out the link to his video on how to I think it's like chest or bench press like a badass. Uh, it really helped me. I felt like setting up the way he said helped me. And then we moved on to cable fly and triceps rope pull downs. I want you to really think about really squeezing. And I was trying to be really aware of not bending my arms all the way up, not totally stretching out the tricep, but maintaining some tension there. And on these chest flies, just be careful if you're using the bosu getting up there. Then we went on to overhead tricep extensions. Now you can see Janelle has her arms apart and the, she's not stabilizing the dumbbells together. That's actually harder. I'm doing the intermediate or the beginner version. I don't know if it's intermediate or beginner, but my weights needed to be together for me to get it. And then we finished up with one set of tricep dips. And we did one drop set, so we did as many as we could at body weight, and then we went ahead and um, did minus 25 body weight. So they, I thought they were gonna be harder than they were. I mean, they were challenging, but once you get going, it's okay. <laughs> and that was our workout. I hope you give it a try. Push, push, it was push, a really push. good one. I enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. Good. So I hope you enjoyed that chest and triceps workout as much as I did. Madison and I are going to refuel and we're going to head to the tax office. I have my creatine and I have some chicken and rice and some egg whites and some carrots that I'm going to eat on the way and we're going to take care of business. So let me explain why we're going to the tax office. So last month or like a month and a half ago, I get this letter in the mail, like from the, from the state, from the county, just guesstimating our property value. And unfortunately, our property values went down a little bit. Well, that's life. We just moved in. It's not like we're gonna lose money. We're not planning on moving. So the property values went down. So obviously the property, the real estate taxes should go down too, right? Well then, a little bit after we got that letter, we get notification from our mortgage company, like a breakdown saying, well, according to their estimations for escrow, for taxes and stuff, we're gonna need to pay like 200 extra dollars a month or just a thousand dollar lump sum for the year. And that got my wheels turning. I was like, if we know that our property value went down so our taxes should go down so why why is the mortgage company and the escrow guesstimating that we're gonna have to pay more so I'm gonna actually go get a print up from the county of what our estimated taxes are gonna be then I'm gonna call the mortgage company and see what they're guesstimating and if they're overestimating I'm gonna have them lower it so that we're not paying extra if we don't need to 
So that is the plan. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. I was hoping to get like a printout of the estimated property taxes for the house where I am for the year. The owner of the house. Yes. You want to know how much will be your taxes? Yes, please. Okay. What's your social, I mean, your address? It's four. Second will be due in December. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. We got what we came for. Now we're gonna go home. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that was easy. Can't go home. Thank you. No. You don't wanna go home? Where do you wanna go? Go on a walk. Come on, go on a walk while well, we're walking right now. All right, everybody. So I wanna share with you a protein waffle recipe. And this is actually gonna be the first time that I'm making it. So, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Because when you're on prep and you're low carb, one way to help you get past cravings and stuff is to eat things that look and feel and taste like higher carb, but they're not. So these protein waffles are gonna be exactly that for me. So I will link the description to the YouTube video from the recipe inspiration that I got because I changed it up just a little bit, okay? So we are gonna start with three servings of protein. Any protein you like. This is vanilla flavored. Um, the YouTube video I watched, the lady had snickerdoodle flavored, which sounded amazing. I'm kind of jealous and wish that I had snickerdoodle flavored protein. Might have to go out and buy some. So, next I have flaxseed meal. You could use almond flour, any type of flour you want. I'm using flaxseed meal. Gotta get your healthy fats in. I'm just gonna kinda stir that up. I already have my waffle iron sprayed and heating. Mmm, -hmm, it smells good already. This protein powder, I love vanilla. I love the way vanilla smells. All right, so I have a teaspoon of baking powder so that your waffles are nice and fluffy. You can't forget the baking powder. So this is gonna kind of be my pre-workout before I go for my evening. I'm going back to the gym for my evening cardio workout. All right, so now I have a little blend of cinnamon and stevia. It's a teaspoon of cinnamon, because I love cinnamon and a teaspoon of stevia. And you can omit the stevia if you have protein powder that tends to be super sweet anyway. It's just however you wanna do it. And you could put nutmeg in, you could put any type of spices in that you want or flavoring. Okay, so I have one mashed up banana. And I don't want to leave out any banana. Let's use the spatula. We can't let a good banana go to waste. A nice ripe banana. Are you a green banana eater? I cannot stand green bananas. My husband prefers them to be a little bit green. I need them ripe. I need them turning brown. I need them soft and really strong smelling, you know, when you open them up. All right, get that out of here. Gonna kinda mix that banana in. You can kinda press it in. Shelby has the music on and she's in the other room dancing. She loves music and dancing. All right, so that's the craziness you hear on in the background maybe. All right, so I have one cup of egg whites. Gonna get that stirred in.
And I might already have to get more egg whites. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just add more milk. I have a half a cup of milk. We do dairy in my family, so if you don't do dairy, you could use any almond milk, coconut milk, any type of milk you want. That actually might make it perfect. I'm gonna keep stirring it up. And I had this on low. I'm gonna turn this back up to a higher heat. I like my waffles kind of crunchy on the outside, cooked really well. All right, so that is the consistency that we're working with. And this is the first time I'm doing it. We're just gonna go with it and see how many we get out and see how they turn out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. I'm actually gonna let that heat up a little bit more. Oh, there it goes. It's getting hot. I'm gonna take my cup I'm gonna pour a little bit there, and there, and there, and there, and right there in the middle. It's a little bit thick. I think for the next waffle, I'm gonna add a little bit more milk and mix it up. Let's close that and see how it turns out. All right, so the first one I think I let cook too long. They smell awesome. So guys, this one got cooked a little bit too much. And it was a little bit thicker. That's okay, we're experimenting with a new recipe. While I was waiting, I measured 32 grams or two tablespoons of peanut butter that I'm gonna melt and drizzle on top. But we're gonna go ahead. I've also thinned out the recipe. I kinda eyeballed it so it has a little bit wetter consistency, I think. And we are going to not even use the cup. We're just going to pour it in there. Make sure we don't burn this one. I'm going to take it off darker. They smell like blueberry pancakes. They smell good, don't they? Smells amazing. Okay. Let's see how this one turns out. All right, guys, this one did not overcook. Oh, it looks awesome. It's nice and thick and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, unplug that. That looks good, right? I am going to heat up my peanut butter. And I'm just trying to figure out here the macros for us. Alrighty, everybody, so I'm gonna drizzle this peanut butter on. And where's my spatula? I'm just gonna use my finger because we do not let good peanut butter go to waste either. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait to eat it and then go crush this workout. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good, guys? I'm ready for this. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I could only finish 
three quarters of one of those waffles. That was dense. So honestly, you have to be careful with the with the protein you use. The protein I use, it wasn't necessarily low carb. I mean, it wasn't a ton of carbs, but it was a dense waffle. So I would suggest if you're going to try that recipe or the next time I do it, I'm going to add actually water to it and water it down so I'll get more waffles and they won't be so dense and calorie rich. It actually worked out perfectly for me because I only had one more meal to eat and I needed like 800 calories to eat it. And that's about what three quarters of that waffle was um, plus the peanut butter I put on top. So it worked out perfectly for fitting my macros in in the time period I wanted to. But yeah, I would suggest if you're gonna try that waffle recipe, really make sure that you get, and you want it low carb, make sure you get a um, protein that's low carb and also maybe add more water or almond milk in it to water it down a little bit more and you'll get more waffles out, less dense each waffle. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. This week, like I said, we are going to be traveling to Utah. So the next vlog will be all about our Utah travels with my family. And yeah, I want you to meet me right back here on Monday. I have another workout for you as usual. Until then, always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, everyone.